Are you using my lens? Fuck, that's big. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing today? How are you doing? Man? I'm doing good. Is this episode number five? I've got so much time to go. Are we actually recording? Uh, no, we're never. Recording. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, how are you liking the, the the lens? Bitch, we're fucking recording. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Are you, doing? you got me. You fucking got me. Your lens is right there. Oh, you didn't use it? No, I'm not for photos. Bitch. I'm looking for photos. For photos? Ugh, gross. Episode fucking five? How you feeling about this? Top five, baby. I want that computer. Top five. I want Top that five computer. We're going to be hitting my favorite body part today. Fucking legs. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. <laughs> In reality, the legs are a big part of competing, especially for men's physique, because <laughs> I'm serious. You want to hear what I have to say? Talk to me. <laughs> fucking laughing at me, no, bitch. Because... He's cranky today, guys. I am cranky. He's my, cranky. So, today, I woke up at 219 pounds. It was my... After my high day. We're sitting around like 217... No, 217 to 219. Um, the reason why, even though I'm getting leaner, I'm staying there is because... Hypothetically, potentially, I added in the trend, and so <laughs> it is keeping my weight up. And so, um, that being said, because of that, my weight was at it's hovering around there. So I'm 219 this morning. Um, we're gonna eat up here, got meal, you know, Bob's white rice flour, you know, the deal. Um, and so, but the legs, this is why it's so important. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you real quick. So. In men's physique or in any competition, legs expel the most amount of energy. So when you're on your low days and everything like that, it burns the most calories. And so it's really gonna help you get dialed down conditioning wise. And also as men's physique, if you have a broader base, obviously not like classic, but if you have a broader base and you can fill out your board shorts, not only does it look better, but also helps make like an X frame. And your X frame is actually going to make your waist look smaller. So a lot of men's physique guys, they'll like pose their legs like straight down together and they look stupid as fuck. <laughs> no, you want to see it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like they, like dead eye, can you see me right now? They hit their back pose and they literally hit their back pose like this. And I'm like, bro, like, why are you standing like that, bro? Like you should be fucking spread that bitch out, you know? Like I don't understand why they do that. Like whoever the posing coach is needs to fucking Whoa, man, don't <laughs> <laughs> It's a little much. Like, Hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Hi, baby. Hi, Zoe. She's so good. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to do a meal. And then we're going to go hit legs. And then we're going to talk about um, today's topic. What's today's topic? Today, we're going to be talking about sponsorships and how to get them, what to look for, and then growing your social media. Because I've been asked a lot about like how to start my social media, how to get sponsored with Young LA, how to get sponsored with The Rise, and all this other stuff. So. I'm gonna talk to you guys about that, how I got each one of my sponsorships, and where I'm at with them, and how I'm doing, and uh, which one's my favorite, which one's my least favorite. So, what do you think? Bring out a pump cover. So I was thinking about like one of these young LA ones, but it is leg day, and I feel like you can't go wrong supporting my bro, my boy Jay with the Dream Chasers. He is classic, and his legs are fucking like godly. So I don't know. What do you think? We got that one. This one? Yeah. All right. Leg day. So we gotta support my boy Jay. Hi, baby. I want to show you, before we leave, I want to show one thing on the counter. And then I already bet. This week. He has fresh clothes, guys, always. Oh. I actually gave away, like, five pieces of Young LA yesterday. Two. I love this sponsorship. Young LA, you guys are the best. You guys are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was. But, you guys are recording. You, you know when this bitch is recording, but I don't bro. know, like, a lot of you guys know Rise has launched, like, the new Element series. Um... So I like this shit because that ring, that new flavor, that ring pop flavor, is super dope. But for example, in these series, like the loaded from Rise, you have way more like caffeine in these ones. And so there's more serving in this, but there's a lot more caffeine. And I only would take like half a scoop, whether it's like the Kool-Aid or it's the Tiger's Blood or whatever else. Like I would only take a half scoop of this because I didn't need all the stim and all the caffeine and everything like that. With this, it's only half the amount, so you can just do one full scoop and it's cheaper, even though I think there's a little bit less serving than this. So I actually really like this line better, even though this is the one that's going into Walmart. This brand, this, the Moon Pie one, the new Sunny D flavor, and the Ring Pop flavor are going to Walmart. You can also get them online. These ones will still not be in there. Also, shout out to Alexa at Rise, she's the athlete manager, because 
She sent me the new Rise Fuel because, well not new, but Rise Fuel, you literally can't buy them because they're so out of stock and everything. But that makes it favorite Rise stack, favorite stack in general, is fucking one of these and the pump pills. And then maybe some IGF one. And maybe some Seattle's. Just kidding. No, no. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. No, IGF one separately, and but from Rise alone, one of these bad boys and the pump pills, it's fucking goaded. Like you can't, you literally can't beat that stack. Like I, I've tried with every like supplement they have. Those are, yeah, see, right here, boom. One of these, four of those. It's game over, it's lights out. So, you, know, you make fun of my sunglasses? Well, They're from Transcend. What, what position of play, oh, fucking baseball you play there? <laughs> are you a shortstop? No, nah, bro, I'm outfield. I mean, the Padres not a hit. What flavor are we testing today? Oh, we're not testing, this is just the, this is the daily. I'm gonna take a whiff. I'm gonna take a whiff. I'm gonna take a whiff of this. Oof. Yeah? Oof. Kinda smells like. Sunny. Kinda like your mom's house. Sunny D. Man. Yeah, sweet. Sunny. So freaking sweet. Taste the taste. <laughs> taste the taste. Mmm. Yep, just like your mom. Delicious monkey. <laughs> just like your mom's monkey. <laughs> We're just warming up right now. Some extensions. Because, well, you gotta warm up. Before we get this nasty ass leg day. Try and go heavier on the some of the squats. Let's see what we can do. Now we're motivated by Jay Lane's pump cover. So we'll see what we got. But bro, honestly, I'm at TG right now is the best gym in San Diego. But when you when you're on like trend, I swear, everything when you get irritable, like everything irritates you and everything's like having a chip on your shoulder. Like I'll stay fuming about this for like the next like five, ten minutes. Just like motherfucker, so, like that bitch ass, who the fuck does he think he is as he owns the gym? Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious. They got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money to. Pop. I feel like if I stick with somebody that can learn my body, that's gonna be the best option versus switching coaches. Yeah, plug, dude. Like with their, with all their pep talks. Alrighty, and we are back from our. Freaking fantastic leg day. Oscar, what'd you think? It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> awesome. But honestly, what I wanted to talk about today, uh, because I've actually been getting this question a lot from people DMing me and on my Q and A's, is like social media, how to grow it, and sponsorships, like how to obtain them. Um, so pretty much how I grew my social media, because uh, I just started it last year for the first time. Uh, is TikTok, honestly. TikTok has been like the number one like caveat to grow my social media because the people that follow you on TikTok, if they cross platform over to Instagram or to YouTube, those are the people who are really gonna fuck with you. Um, and those are gonna be like your biggest supporters. And so uh, the amount of views and exposure that you get from TikTok is crazy as well. Uh, and usually those people also are like quality followers, like I said. For example, a lot of people on Reels are blowing up right now and they're getting crazy amounts of followers but that doesn't mean shit. Like you just see their following count go to like 20K, 50K, 100K, but their engagement's all the same because those people don't really fuck with them and they don't care at all. So now it looks like they have a whole bunch of fake followers because they didn't do anything to actually transfer those followers to actually fuck with them. They got a follower, but they didn't actually sell them on themselves and now it's just they have an extra follower and slowly their following is gonna be declining unless they're constantly growing and pumping out reels. Uh, so I really don't like Instagram reels in terms of growing like quality followers or quality following. I really fuck with TikTok honestly the most. Um, the exposure is better, the video, the platform is better. Instagram just wants to be TikTok, but Instagram sucks dick, to be honest. I hate Instagram. They're super friendly and everyone's a fucking snowflake and gets offended and you get banned over nothing. So, fuck you, Instagram. So, uh, TikTok. But that being said, TikTok's time is coming to a close. Like, I can already see it. Like, it's getting harder and harder to explode on TikTok than it used to be, like, a, even a year ago. I actually don't like American Airlines. Why? Pretty sure they're the ones that flew into nine. The 
yeah, so TikTok goes away. Uh, YouTube's fucking hard, so I would stick to TikTok, honestly, unless you just want to get a whole bunch of followers that don't mean anything. Then what makes you think TikTok, though? What makes you think TikTok is dying to become, to explode? Uh, I can just see it. You can just see the engagement and the turnover. In the, like, you, you'll post a video, and it might get a ton of views, but the, the follower like conversion rate is getting smaller and smaller. They're also pushing out um, accounts less and less. Like You have to have a following to get your, your video on the explore page now because your followers have to fuck with it. So if you only have like 50 followers, 100 followers, 1,000 followers, and you post a video, and those followers don't really even fuck with you that much, and they don't engage with it, then it's not gonna get on the fear page. Versus if you have 100,000 followers plus, and you post it, that's a lot bigger group that probably fucks with you, to like it up, and then it'll get on the explore page for you to grow. So like the bigger creators are just gonna get bigger, and the smaller creators are gonna stay small. Like, it just like Instagram used to be. So, it's already coming to a close. Um, in terms of the sponsorships, a lot of people ask me how I got sponsored by Rise, how I got sponsored by Young LA, I used to be with the Ironworld. When I was with Ironworld, reached out to me originally, after right after I got my pro card. I rep their shit a lot, and I represent the brand well, and I fit in with their vision, and they reached out to me after I got sponsored with them. Um, it worked out great for while I was with them. Um, Young LA, I reached out to them. Um, I didn't know that Ironworld was exclusive, and so I reached out to them. And then like three months later, Young LA got back to me and was like, yeah, we want you, like let's run it. And it's been fucking great ever since. Um, money's been absolutely Frontier? What do you do, Frontier? Bro, you Frontier. Canceled from Frontier? Janky, you have to pay for your carry-on bags and shit. My bad, bro. I only fly United. My bad, bro. I live in the ghetto, bro. I live right next to the airport. I'm in the ghetto. We are kind of low-key. Anyways. Um, yeah, Young LA's been great. I had to reach out to them. Um, a big thing too is analytics. You can't just be like, yo, I got, I have a good physique, or yo, you know, I'm so, I'm a pro. Like, it doesn't work like that. You still gotta have a following. You still gotta have really good engagement and really good analytics, because they ask for that now. Companies a lot of times will ask for analytics. If they're a smart company, they'll ask for analytics. If they're a startup brand and they don't really care and they're just trying to hire a whole bunch of affiliates left and right, they won't care and they'll just sign anyone. Um, so you have to develop a following. A following that fucks to you. Um, for in terms of Iron World, they reached out to me. Young LA, I reached out to them. Then they reached out to me. With Rise, I uh, actually got plugged by Jay Lane, actually. Um, that I, was rep I was using a lot of the Rise products as is, and uh, then my boy Jay plugged me, and right after I got my pro card as well, as I saw my following was growing and growing, they snatched me up early, and then I actually just re-signed a new contract with Rise and got put on salary. Um, so I'm super stoked with that because honestly, I, there's no other <laughs> supplement company I would want to be with other than Rise. Rise is fucking goaded. They shit on Alpha Line, they shit on Huge, they shit on fucking everyone. Like, everyone wants to be United. But yeah, so their collabs are just insane. Nick, the CEO, is fucking awesome. The athletes that they have are ridiculously dope. Um, but yeah, honestly, a lot of times with these, uh, these supplement companies, not supplement companies, these sponsorships, you gotta reach out to them. You gotta show that you're something special, um, that you're not just running the mill, and that you're gonna, honestly, at the end of the day, you're gonna make sales, because you do need to make sales, it is a business. You can't, they're not just gonna hire you just because they like you. Like, you gotta, or hire you, take you on, just because, like, you gotta fucking, you gotta make, you gotta make sales at the end of the day. Like, Young LA's minimum of 50. Um, I think uh, Rise, I think, is like 30, minimum of 30. Then you got, on top of that, you have to posting requirements, so you actually have to be able to, you know, put out, put on <laughs> you gotta be able to put out put on uh but yeah in terms of that that's pretty much it for sponsorships growing social media just be yourself uh don't be running the mill be different a lot of people are just the same and uh if you're the same you're never gonna get out there and be you know no one's gonna no one's gonna want to fuck with the same old the same old you know so i don't know also this is the last thing i'll tell you in the social media world, networking and collabing is fucking huge. The more people you know, the better you're gonna do. The better, the more people you know, the more people can plug you, all right? I got on, was sponsored by Transcend because my coach was sponsored with Transcend. I developed my following talking about peptides and gear. Jesse, the owner, was like, yo, you would fit us perfectly and you'd help out a ton of people by sending them to us. Delta. Fuck Delta. Fuck Delta. Stupid ass bitches. Fuck Delta. But uh, yeah, got collabs. on with yeah collabs, yeah, yeah collabs and networking because at the end of the day, like a lot of companies will listen to their athletes because they want other athletes that are going to fit in with the group and fit in and identify with that company as well. And then when those uh, sponsored athletes like will collab, like it just gives more exposure to the brand. So they want people that will fit in well. So the more people you network in with, the more people you collab with, the more friends you have, the more they can plug you. Because there are a lot of companies a lot more likely to hire someone that they get plugged with than just some random person that DMs them, for sure, 100%. So 
Um, that's huge. That's how I got plugged with Rise. That's how I got plugged with Transcend. Young LA, I had to reach out to them. Ironworld was the only one that reached out to me, but that's because they were a smaller brand. I had been repping them for a long time. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much my, uh, there's my tips and advice on you to how to grow social media and how to get sponsored. So, anyways, I think that's where we're going to end it here because I'm tired. I just got to go home. Uh, there's a big bodybuilding competition in USA's. He's got to go get a haircut. So, anyways, I think the next one, what, should we do the steroid cycle one the next one? Yes. All right, next video, like, subscribe, comment because next one we will be revealing my hypothetical, possible, maybe, but not maybe steroid cycle if I'm on one for my pro debut. You're natty, you're natty. Just kidding, I identify as natty. You can't take that from me. See you guys. They got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I had to, I had to uh, put all their egos in check. You're not entitled to anything else. I got 10 years of this under my belt. Your art is an art, they don't feel it and nobody hears it. Initiative stay on the shelf. Your ego done got in the way. You gotta die today.